as mentioned in the previous uh, episode, uh, if the module author declared a list of functions that he's exporting, then the user, when ca calls use a calc, will get all the functions exactly that was listed here. Now this can be dangerous because if I, as a user, include just everything and the module upgrades and then it adds more functions, then suddenly I'll get all kind of new functions that might again col uh, collide with existing functions or functions coming from other modules. So there I recommend for everyone to restrict the list of mod functions being Im imported. So as a user of a module, I can write the name of the module, use the name of the module, and then give a list of functions that I would like to import. This needs to be a subset of the list of functions that be, are being exported, but this way I can exactly explicitly say what functions I would like to have in my code. It has two main advantages about what I can see. One of them is that uh, I won't get any additional functions, I won't get surprised by getting some strange function that may, might come from another module as well and just imagine that you have lots of lots of these uses and uh, you get all kind of functions and then someone who's reading your code son suddenly sees this add function and doesn't know where, that's that, where that function comes from he has to go over all the modules to find out which module exports the add function if you had written this way it's easy, very easy to just search in the same file and find out that, oh, right, this module is exporting the add function we are importing from there. So it has a very good documentationary, uh, documentary feature of adding the, the list of uh, functions that you would like to include.